Today's project is Trimming a Small Ball, an introduction for beginners. In the last video, we threw a small ball together. In this video, I'm going to explain my way of trimming step by step. Check the bottom thickness using both fingers. In the beginning, you have no idea how thick it is. But after trimming many times, your hand will start to feel the thickness. Mark 5mm below the internal bottom. You need to make a cross with two sticks. Set the cross inside the bowl, then adjust the height to fit the inside. Then transfer the stick length to the outside to mark the position of the internal bottom. Then make a guideline 5 mm below. This will be the line which you can trim the clay down to this point. To place the pot on the wheel, use a wheel's circle to place the pot in the center as accurately as possible. I use tapping and it's one of the high hurdles which all potters have to clear. I will skip the detail at this time as tap centering will be a video on its own. After you made many pots, you will realize you don't need a stick cross anymore. You will need a small piece of clay gently attached to the wheel. And your left hand secure the pot so it stays in the same position. Then gently push the clay to support the pot. You need to secure three points. I made the clay long enough to cover almost the whole circle. As a beginner, this is a good way to start. Later, you won't need so much clay. Still, the clay needs to be a nice softness which sticks to the wheel and also hold the pot. You need a loop trimming tool or you can use a metal turning tool. Make a center hole for your finger rest. Both my arms are well anchored on the wheel tray. Most of you have a lower wheel position so use your thighs to support your arms. Lightly scrape the rough top surface because things become much easier if you start in a clean condition. Mark the outside foot ring. I use three fingers which are about five centimeter. Set your left middle finger at the center hole and both thumbs are connected together. Your right middle finger is the navigator of your loop tool. Trim the clay down flat and straight. You need to trim down to your marked line. You can see all the other fingers are individually doing different jobs. Example, my left index finger is assisting the right middle finger. Then my right ring finger is holding the loop tool to keep the flat balance. Don't worry, it will come naturally after you have made many pots. Now 
Now you have trimmed down to the mark 5mm below the internal bottom. Trim the excess corner clay to make a continuous natural curve. This part is the thickest part of your bowl. As long as you keep the nice floating curve, you should trim this part more than you think. In the beginning, this is a part you have to trim again and again after you thought you had finished the trimming. Marking the internal footring. Let's leave 4 or 5 mm thickness so you can adjust the thickness later. You can trim it down to the same level as the outside of the footring. Then you can trim across the inside. This bowl has a nice hardness to trim. Also, the area is very small, so I trim it this way. If the clay is slightly harder, sometimes hard clay drags your tool, so it's better to change your technique. In the beginning, finding the right hardness of the clay for trimming is not easy. It's also slightly different from a potter to a potter. The inside of the footring level is here and the outside level is here. The inside one is still higher than the outside, so you can trim more. Let's trim the footring more to make it thinner. You can take the loop tool straight down. At this point, you can adjust the footring size to fit your ball size and the shape. Check the resistance of bottom clay. It is still very strong, so let's trim more. You can trim the outside level down to the inside one. Now finishing off the footring appearance. You can compress and smooth the surface with any handy tools. A small bowl is a pot that the user will hold for a long time during the meal. 
I always think about the person holding it. So I want this ball to fit nicely in the hand. I like to be able to lift it by holding the foot ring. This is my preference for a rice ball foot. It could be different for you. But it's always good to think about why you want to make it this way.